Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make this simple swimsuit for a stuffed animal just in time for summer. Now let's get started! As you can see, I'm just using plain cotton fabric and not swimsuit material for this, since it's much easier to find and to work with. I'm also not going to be putting my stuffed animal in water while wearing this. So the first thing to do, as always, is cut out my pieces. Since I've already used some of this fabric, I don't have much to work with, so I have to be very strategic when placing my patterns on. And you can find these patterns I made in the description box below. Don't worry if they look slightly different than the ones I'm using here. I'm just first pinning all of these down, and I'm just going to cut out one of each piece except for the triangle. The triangle, you'll need four of them, and the straps, you'll need two. Now here are all the pieces cut out. As you can see, I did the triangles in two colors, one blue and one white. And that's just because I was running out of blue fabric, and you'll only end up seeing one side of the triangle, so the white is going to go on the inside. I'm first going to start by flipping my fabric good side to good side, but with my fabric it doesn't really matter. Now I'm just going to pin these together and sew along the two shorter edges, so leave the bottom open. Now I can turn these inside out, and I use the end of a paintbrush to help me poke out those points. Then we can just set these aside and move on to that bottom band. This is that very long rectangle piece, and the first thing I'm going to do is hem one of the sides. So with the bad side facing up, I'm going to fold over the bottom edge and then just pin all along the entire thing. I'm going to use a straight stitch to sew this all down. Now I'm going to grab my two triangles and lay them good side to good side along the top edge of that band. This is the edge that is not hemmed. I wanted mine to overlap slightly in the middle, so I made sure to put a pin there. Afterwards, you can kind of flip this up to see what it'll look like in the end. And since mine looked good to me, I'm just going to sew across here with a straight stitch. After that, I think it looks amazing, but we still have to fold over the rest of that top edge. So I'm just doing that and pinning it down, and I'm also going to fold over a little bit of that side. So we get nice clean edges everywhere. I'm going to repeat this to the other side and sew this down with a straight stitch. Next, I'm going to be adding Velcro so these two ends can connect in the back. So I'm just cutting a small piece of Velcro and pinning one on each side. And make sure one is on the good side of the fabric and the other is on the bad side so they face each other when you want to stick them together. And I'm going to sew around the entire perimeter of the rectangle to attach these. After that, we can set this aside and make the last thing, which is the strap. So I'm going to grab my strap pieces and just fold it so these are very, very skinny. I really should have folded this up a bit wider and then just fold it in half in the end because that would seal in all the raw edges. But at least one side of mine didn't have any fraying, so that's just what I went with. And now I'm just sewing this by hand. I'm first folding over that very end, and I'm only going to do this to one end. And I'm just doing a few in and out stitches to lock this in place. Now I'm just refolding this up, and I'm going to do a few stitches all the way down to keep it like this. I did small stitches for the front and big in the back, but it doesn't really matter since you kind of end up seeing both sides in the end. This ended up taking forever though, so use whatever method you want, and you could even use string instead. I do want to quickly announce that next week I'm going to be posting my 50th YouTube video, so I'm going to be doing a pretty big project for that, and I want to hear what you all think it is, so make sure to leave your guess in the comments. After I'm finished with both my straps, I can attach this to the swimsuit. I'm going to sew each one by hand to the top of the triangle, but I'm going to make sure I'm only going through that first layer. For me, it's white, and that way you won't see any of the stitches from the front. After sewing on the other one, the swimsuit top is finished, so I'm going to try this on just to make sure it fits. I think it turned out super cute and the exact style I was going for. Now it's time to make the bottoms. I first need to hem the curved parts of both the front and back pieces, so with the bad side facing up, I'm just going to fold over that edge and pin it down. I usually have to make a few cuts when folding over curves, but with this one I didn't have to. I'm doing this to both pieces and sewing this on with a straight stitch. After that, I'm going to flip them good side to good side and then sew together one of the sides. It'll be slanted like this. Now I'm going to flip this over and hem the top edge of both of these pieces. I'm going to be adding this very thin elastic in the top, so make sure your elastic will be able to fit inside there. My elastic was about 13 and a half inches long, which is pretty short, but it'll be able to stretch. Now I'm going to sew right where I've pinned using a straight stitch. Next, I'm going to start feeding my elastic through the top. I have this little safety pin attached to the end so I can easily maneuver it through. So I'm just scrunching my fabric around the safety pin, then pulling the fabric down around the elastic, and then continuing to do that till I make it all the way to the other side. And to make sure you don't lose the other end of the elastic, I like to pin that to the other side. Once I've gotten to the end, I'm pinning the fabric together with both the elastics, then sewing right along here to seal it off. At this point, I wasn't sure how long I needed the bottoms to be, so I first tried this on my stuffed animal, pulled it up to where I wanted it, and realized I had a lot of extra fabric down there. So I'm just sewing a straight line across a little bit higher than I initially planned. And after that, I'm going to cut off the extra and your swimsuit is basically done. 
I just tried it on one more time and thought that the back looked a little bit loose and I thought maybe cutting a tail hole would help. So I'm just making a little line where her tail is and then making a vertical cut where I've marked. And after I tried it on, it frayed super easily, so I decided I'm going to have to hem this a little bit. I just folded both sides over and then went in with a needle and thread to sew them in place. I wanted to do a super clean and neat job by doing a back stitch, which makes a continuous line of stitches, not like the in and out stitch. But this kind of backfired because I ended up having all the nice neat stitches on the inside of the swimsuit where you wouldn't see them. So just make sure to remember the part you're folding over is the back of the fabric and you won't see that part. So you really should have this flipped the other way while you're sewing this. And now here I am showing it on the inside of the swimsuit. I have all my nice short stitches and on the outside I have my messy longer ones. But I don't think they're that noticeable, especially with the tail pulled through. You can't really see the hem at all. And after that, your swimsuit for a stuffed animal is finished. I think it turned out super cute and it's definitely something that you can make out of leftover fabric because that's what I used. Make sure to come back next week for my big 50th video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I'll see you next time.